Howdy everyone, my name is Whitaker and I'm Trails Head of Outreach. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a air powered rocket launcher out of PVC and it works kind of like this. Let's check it out. So here I have laid out all of the different things that you're going to need to build this rocket launcher. First you've got some different sizes, half inch, one inch and two inches of PVC pipe. Some various PVC fittings that we'll talk about later. Some JB Weld plastic bonder to seal up the cracks. Tubeless tire bike valve. A momentary push button. Some wiring. A one inch inline sprinkler valve. Some PVC primer and cement. You can buy them as a little pack. Some Duracell nine volt batteries and a bike pump. Alright, so our first step is going to be to cut down our PVC to the correct length. Now you can use either with a PVC cutter that you can buy from the store or just a hacksaw. So step one, we're going to cut our two inch PVC pipe into two six inch sections. Alright, next we're going to take our one inch PVC and we're going to cut it into two three inch sections. Now that the cutting's done, go ahead and lay out all your PVC pipes. Make sure you have all the pieces that you need before you start gluing. So you should end up having your two six inch lengths of two inch PVC, two two inch PVC caps, one two inch T, one two inch to one inch reducer, one, two, three male adapters, one inch, your two lengths of one inch PVC that you just cut, your sprinkler valve right here, a one inch to one half inch adapter, and then your one half inch pipe that's going to be your launch tube. Next, take one of your two inch caps and we're going to start drilling a hole in it so that we can fit our tubeless tire valve through the end. Now we're going to start with a smaller drill bit and work our way up, but the goal is to have a hole just big enough to push the tubeless tire valve through so that we can bond it and make sure that it is airtight. If you have a drill press, I recommend using that for this task, uh, just so you can clamp your PVC a little bit more securely. If not, a hand drill will work just fine. Just make sure that you are clamping your equipment to make sure that it doesn't spin out of control. So I ended up using a half inch drill bit and then I countersunk the inside just a little bit. But really all you wanna focus on is getting a nice snug fit with your tire valve through the cap. You're gonna to wanna to take your plastic bonder, squirt a little bit onto your disposable surface and then apply it to the outside of the cap as well as the underside to make sure you get a nice strong bond. All right, now here's the fun part. We're gonna take our PVC primer, our PVC glue, and we're gonna go ahead and apply them to the inside and outside of every PVC to PVC joint that you have in your rocket launcher. First, go ahead and use Clorox wipes to clean and dry all of the fittings where you're gonna be applying the primer and glue. Using these two fittings as an example, you're gonna take your primer, purple one, Go ahead and carefully apply it to as deep as the PVC will be sinking into the other PVC. Do that. Go ahead and apply it to the other piece as well, the inside. Set that back down. Go back to your first piece, take the clear PVC cement, apply it everywhere where you put the primer. Go 
apply it to the other piece as well. Take the two, do your press fit, set it aside to dry. I actually made a mistake. Once you're at this point in your gluing assembly and you have this one inch to one half inch reducer installed, we're actually going to disregard this earlier cut three inch piece of one inch PVC. And now it is time to just install your launch tube into the end of the sprinkler valve. Now this fitting right here actually does not have to be airtight since we are going to be keeping all of the stored pressure in this part of the chamber before the sprinkler valve. Go ahead and cut your launch tube down to whatever size you want. I recommend leaving at least a foot just in case you have some uh, very long rockets and make that cut. Finally, once your plastic bonder has dried, go ahead and glue the end cap on and that is the very last step in the gluing process. Your finished assembly should look something like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the electrical components and then we're ready for launch. For this, we're gonna need our momentary push buttons. Whatever wire you have, make sure it's paired. Your nine volt battery and some wire strippers. Now, just to make sure we're on the same page, the end of your sprinkler valve should look like this. You should have two electrical leads coming off of it. Take one of your nine volt batteries and we're just gonna check that the sprinkler works. Put one lead on the positive terminal and the other lead on the negative. You should hear a little click hearing that the sprinkler is going off. That's exactly what we want. Now the trick is to wire up the battery to the sprinkler to the switch so that that is what sets off your rocket. Start off by taking two identical length pieces of wire. Now the actual length doesn't really matter that much, but it will determine how far away you can stand when you launch your rocket. So keep that in mind. Take your wire stripper and carefully expose both ends of each wire. Take two more shorter strands of wire and do the same thing. These are gonna connect your push button to your battery. Okay, now you're gonna take one lead from your short wire, put it under the screw on your push button and tighten it down. Go and do that for the other wire, and then those are gonna to connect to your nine volt battery. Instead of soldering, you can go ahead and use alligator clips if you just wanna test if your system is working. However, if you're gonna be bringing this around and using it anywhere, I recommend soldering. Okay, so now to prove that this works, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your alligator clips, you're gonna clip one lead to each of these sprinkler wires, connect the other side of each to your push button, then from there, you're gonna connect each of those, again, from the push button to your nine volt battery. Doesn't matter which side. Finish clipping there. All of these are wired in series. And now, your button will control your sprinkler valve just like you want. So, if you're having an issue where it seems like your sprinkler valve is not closing properly, it might be because it needs a pressure differential to get started. So, after you go ahead and connect your bike pump, what you might need to do, go ahead and plug up that hole at the launch, get a little bit of pressure in there, and now it should seal properly. Now you can go ahead and keep pumping it up. I wouldn't go above 40 PSI to start off with. Go ahead and take your switch, And that's your launch. Now let's go ahead and make the paper rocket and then we can check it out. You're gonna use the same half inch piece of PVC that you cut from before. Now, if you're good at arts and crafts, then your rocket's gonna be way better than mine. I do not excel at arts and crafts, but it's pretty simple. All you need is cardstock, scissors, and some tape. Let's do it. To make the fuselage of the rocket, take your cardstock, take your half inch piece of PVC, and just wrap it around and tape it into one long slender tube. Now make sure that whatever PVC you're using is the same size as what you used for your launch tube because it's gonna fit right over the end of it, just like that. You're gonna take a little bit of tape, you're gonna tape it over the end, and that's gonna be your rocket's fuselage. Now, for the nose cone of your rocket, take a smaller piece of cardstock, roll it at the middle into a little cone, doesn't have to be perfect, and tape it there at the end. Like 
like so. Now you're gonna wanna trim it all the way around so that it's nice and flat. Fit it over the end of your rocket. Then you can fold it down over the end and tape it in place. Take as much time as you want to make this pretty. I did not. Lastly, we're gonna add on the fins. So take one more piece of cardstock and cut out three equal sized right triangles. On each triangle, take one end of it, fold it slightly to make a little right angle. and tape that to the side of your rocket. Do that three times, then you're ready to launch. There you have it, one completed rocket. All right, here we are. Launch conditions are perfect. Slide your rocket right over the end there. Pump yourself up. Stand back. Three, two, one. Shoddy work. Did some quick nose cone repairs. Try that one more time. Three, two, one. and down on the other side of the fence. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I had a ton of fun building this launcher and I hope you did too. If you have any trouble at all with your build, let me know in the comments and we'll try to figure it out. Uh, if not, keep following Trell for more fun activities and ways to stay involved with STEM and rocketry. Hook them.